Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, and today I will be teaching you how to paint these watercolor parrots. Before we get started, I wanted to say a quick thank you to Up Gray Art Supplies for sending me these paints, brushes, and watercolor paper that we will be using in today's video. This video is sponsored by Upgrade, and I want you to know that everything I'll be using today was sent to me by them. All right, let's get started. To start this painting, we are going to trace and then transfer over the sketch from the Upgrade watercolor paper cover. So their cover is a beautiful painting of these two parrots. And so all you have to do is take some tracing paper put it over the picture you want to trace onto your watercolor paper, and then trace over that sketch with a pen, a pencil, whatever you're comfortable with. And then once you're done, you can see that I have my sketch already traced onto my tracing paper. And then all you have to do is take your watercolor paper, lay down your transfer paper, which is basically just charcoal on paper, and then lay down your sketch on top of it. Right now I'm going very quickly, but this is just to give you an idea of how it's done. And then I usually use a stylist like this. You can also use a pencil. And then you just start tracing over your entire sketch. And whatever you uh, trace over will appear on your watercolor paper. So that's how we're gonna start this tutorial. And then we are going to have it completely transferred onto our watercolor paper. And then it's good for us to go in with our paints and use it as a guideline. This way it becomes kind of like a coloring book. And it's a great way to practice your watercolor techniques and abilities. You don't have to worry so much about your sketch, you can just enjoy painting with your watercolors. All right, let's grab our paints and jump in. Now that we have our parrot sketched out onto our watercolor paper, we can start adding in our paint. So I'm gonna start with yellow ochre, and I'm going to apply an even wash of this all over our parrot's stomach. So just move this around. You don't need to worry too much about how your paint is drying because we want this to end up looking like feathers so it doesn't need to be perfectly flat and even. So just kind of have fun relaxing and painting in your sketch. I am using Upgrade's watercolor pad as a guide for my colors. So I have that off to the side to kind of guide me with where I am putting down the specific paint colors. And then we are going to come down into this wing with the yellow. Just move that all the way up. Just like that. All right, and then we're going to clean off our brush really well. And we are going to go into our teal green color. Just adding a little bit more pigment over to my watercolor palette. And we are just going to start bringing that color in on the wing. And I'm not going to be too worried about if these colors do touch with our parrot's stomach. We're just going to kind of let these 
bleed together to give us a very loose and natural feel. Just kind of let the paint go where it wants to. Don't worry too much about blending right now because, I, again, we want it to feel very loose. And I'm just going to bring that all the way up until right about the tip of the head. And I'm going to clean my brush off. And you want to clean it off very well because we don't want the colors to mix before we even put them down. If they bleed into each other, that's okay but we want the colors to be clean before they hit the paper. And then I'm going to go into my grass green. And then we're going to come down right here. And then we're going to bring that up into the top of the parrot's head. So kind of now we want to let that bleed all together. I'm going to grab a little bit more pigment. And tap that in right there at the top. And then I'm going to go into my Prussian blue. Just kind of going to Paint that in randomly, just kind of like a little um, and quick line motions all the way up, not blending it in, just kind of letting it give us that texture. All right, and then we're going to go back into our grass green. And we're going to paint right along the border between the yellow and the white on the neck. like that and then I'm going to grab my black I will have all of these pink colors listed over on my blog for you to check out so that you can have your color palette all prepared ahead of time I'm going to take that black and I'm going to apply it to the neck I'm just using the tip of my brush to keep the fine detail. And then the black is going to come all the way up and kind of take over where that green started. I'm going to bring it into the little facial details that we added with our sketch. Fill in the eye with the black. And then again, just the tip of my brush to go along those fine detail lines. And then we're going to go into the beak. So the entire beak is black except for the tiniest little triangle of a shape right below the, the top part of the beak. So I'm just going to kind of paint that shape in and I'm just going to fill in everything around that white shape that I kind of 
framed out so that we can leave it alone. Come up through here. Just like this. And then to finish off this first step, I'm going to take a little bit more of that yellow ochre we started with and I'm going to paint in down this leg. I completely forgot about this part. So we're just adding that in very quickly. Bring that all the way down like that. Then again, cleaning my brush off really well. And I'm gonna go back into that teal paint. And I'm gonna just bring that up along the wing. So again, you can just treat this like a coloring page and just have fun putting in the colors. And you can make this your own too. You don't have to have the exact same colors that I'm doing. You can feel free to experiment with your own. Parrots are great for that because they can be so many different colors. And then I'm just gonna come back and I'm just tapping in some of that Prussian blue paint. Just like that. Going back into my teal. I'm gonna fill in down here on these feathers. bringing that up like that and a couple teal feathers right back here just fill in that back area all right and then lastly we're going to go back into our black paint and we are gonna fill in right here with the foot. My wash is a little bit lighter for the feet. It's not as dark as the beak and the facial trims. Just to kind of give it some, to, for it to differentiate from everything else. It doesn't need to be as black. Like that make this foot very loose. It's just going to kind of blend in to our tree eventually. All right, and there is our first layer for our first parrot. So we're going to let this dry, and then we are going to move into our second parrot. Now that our first parrot has dried, we can move into our second parrot, and we are going to repeat similar steps by adding the yellow ochre, the teal green, the grass green, and the black. So we're gonna start with the yellow ochre. And we're just gonna begin applying that all over the parrot's belly. and just follow the guidelines that you sketched out earlier when we drew out our parrot. And I will have a still image over on my blog of the parrots if you wanna head over there um, to get that sketch. You just can use your tracing paper to trace right over it. Okay, 
just like that. And we're gonna go into our teal green. Dab off any extra water. And then I'm just gonna go into the wing area. A little bit more pigment. And go to the other wing. And then we're going to bring it in everywhere except for the just the very front of the forehead. So just let that carry through. All right, and then let's clean our brush off. And go into that grass green. And then apply that just to the tip of the forehead kind of letting those two colors blend together. And now I'm gonna pick up some more of that teal green and just tap it in to help it kind of blend. And just kind of play around with the colors. And then we're gonna go back into the grass green and we're gonna do what we did before and just on this upper chest area, we're going to very lightly add just a little bit of that grass green to the bottom section and just the smallest amount over here. And then the rest is going to be black. So we're gonna go into our black. And you can just start painting that all over, leaving just the smallest amount of white space between this area and the beak, because the beak is also gonna be black. So we're gonna leave a little bit of white space just so we can really tell those two sections apart and it's not just going to bleed, it, bleed all together. And then we're going to go across that line. And then one thing I just noticed that I forgot to put in when I traced my, my picture over was a couple lines right here. So I'm just going to improvise and just paint those small detail lines in. And then I'm going to fill in my eye like that. And I'm going to come up and curve right there. And then continue filling in the little lines that I did remember to put in place. And then we can fill in our beak. Again, just remember to leave that tiny amount of white space between the beak and the chest, just where the black is can go all the way next to the yellow. And right here, we're gonna leave the smallest amount of white space as well, just to help notice where the beak kind of has a little bit of a break. Just kind of carry that down. On the tip of my brush, I'm just smoothing out those upper edges. And then right now, I don't have a lot of paint on my brush. I'm gonna use that to fill in this tiny little area that also needs to be black. One thing I'm loving about these upgrade watercolor brushes is that it is keeping a point really well. And that is so great when it comes to watercolor painting. And again, leaving that little white space on this side, just like that. And then we're gonna go in with our feet, 
with the same light wash of that black. going to add a little bit of black just kind of letting this all blur together all right and just like that we have our first layer on this parrot now we're going to come back in to both parrots at the same time and we're going to add some feathery details so now we get to add some extra color and just really make our parrots pop by adding a second coat only over certain areas of our parrots. So we're gonna start with a sandy brown color and I'm going to use this to outline my parrot's original um, stomach color. And this is just going to give it that nice shadow to make it not look so flat. And I'm not going to be super specific about being like real straight. I'm just going to have fun plopping in the paint to give it a texture. Basically anywhere you had those guidelines to begin with, that's where you want this color to go. We're going to do the same thing to this parrot. Just down and around. Just like that. All right, and we're gonna go into our teal color. And we're gonna do the same thing to our wings. So right along the up, just on the outer side, not on both. So just on the outer edges, I'm gonna apply that color all the way up to the top, even over the green, because it's still going to kind of, it's going to bring it out. I'm just gonna bring it down there, come down to the feathers at the end and tap that in. And then we're gonna tap it in down here at the bottom feathers. And then along this edge of the wing on the side. We're gonna do the exact same thing right here for this parrot. I go around very thin line right by the forehead and just kind of come down. Just follow those original lines that we have drawn. And just because of the way this parrot is angled, I'm gonna do it on both sides for this wing and kind of just staggered throughout a little bit. I'm gonna take that teal green and apply it right over that grass green to just help it pop out. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go into our black, make it a nice dark mixture, and then I'm gonna fill in our tree branch. We're gonna tuck this behind the feathers, behind the feet. Just 
screen that all the way through. And we're going to use it down here. The little parts that are just dangling off, kind of like moss. And you see now we're using such a dark pigment that it'll help our feet, which we used a light pigment on, to really stand out. Like that. And now I'm gonna switch over to a fan brush. And I'm going to get a little bit more of my Prussian blue out of the tube going to put that in my palette and then I am going to use this brush just going to put that paint right on the tip and I'm not going to add water I'm going to use my paper towel to take off any extra paint and then I'm just going to lightly do side brush strokes up and this is going to give our parrots feathers some texture especially with this Upgrade watercolor paper. It has a nice um, texture to it so that when we put dry paint on like this, it's really going to grab on to that texture and kind of help it show through in our painting. So just kind of work around the parrot with your brush like that throughout all of the feathered areas. In little spots like this, you can just tap. And we're gonna do it to our other parrot as well. Bring it up right by the head. Just a little bit. And then we're going to clean off all that blue And we're going to do the same thing with that original yellow ochre paint we used. And we're going to apply that to the belly. And this is just going to help give us that extra texture that we want for the feathers. And then I'm going to use my round brush, make sure it's very clean. I'm just going to blend out some of that color. Just a little bit of it, not all of it. right here, any place that it just looked like it got in a little bit too rough. All right, and we are going to let this dry and then we're gonna come back in with our background. Now what I'm gonna do for this painting, instead of painting it in the way that they have it on the upgrade watercolor paper, instead of making this wash, I am going to splatter in my paint. I feel like that is more of a style I would go with. And so that's what I'm going to do to make it kind of have my own twist. So I'm gonna take just any object, I'm gonna take this coaster that I have, and I'm gonna place it over the main area of my parrots. And then I'm gonna fill up my watercolor brush with a lot of water and a lot of paint, just so it's very fluid. And then I'm just going to tap that color all around my painting. So that was with Rose Matter. I'm gonna clean my brush off. I have a lot of clean water on it. Go into my teal green. And then I'm gonna tap that color all around it. And then I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna clean off my brush. 
and get a little bit more of that grass green. I'm going to fill it up on my brush. I'm going to tap that color in. All right, and then I'm going to move my coaster. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that rose matter. Tap a little extra off and just carefully tap right up next to the top where my coaster really hit it. And I'm just going to repeat that step with those other two colors. Using the coaster is great so that you can just splatter without really caring everywhere. But then for that step, it's just like you want to fill in more space and that's okay to do to try to bring it in a little bit closer. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm gonna come back in with a little bit of black ink using my um, ink pen and then we will be finished, but first we need to let this background completely dry. Now to add our final details, we are just going to use our black ink pen to sketch in some lines to finish off our painting. So I'm just gonna go around certain areas of the feathers with the wings, and my pen is very thin, so it's not gonna show up too bulky. It's gonna have a very light feel to it and I'm just using this to outline the majority of my parrot. So I'm going to kind of be a little bit more exclusive where I use it within the feathers and then throughout the wings I'm just going to add in little black squiggly lines to give the appearance of some feather texture. I'm going to come around here, just kind of follow those original guidelines that I drew in place. And I'll be okay if I actually get some areas that even show a little bit of the white. Kind of go up, down the bottom area. And this is just a fun way to add some extra detail. And to me, it just really feels like it finishes off my painting and just gives it a crisp look. I don't do this for all of my paintings, but I've been doing it for a couple more recently. I feel like it just needs a little bit more to sharpen it up. Side of the beak, right up here down to the forehead, just like that. And we're gonna come over here this parrot and we're just going to do the same thing. So the majority of the main outline and then throughout the feathers just a little bit to give it that feathered look. Just add a little bit more texture. Go right here on the inside, around the beak. Sharpen up that eye right along the forehead. And then come down to the legs.
kind of up the wing right there and then down to the feet. And then what we can do, we can add it to our tree branch. Really kind of finish up this look. Just kind of give it a sketchy feel. And there you go, you have your watercolor parrots. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Before I go, I wanted to say a quick thank you to Upgrade Art Supplies for sponsoring today's video and sending me all of the art supplies that I used in today's video. If you'd like any extra detail on this painting, head over to my blog, Reflecting Creation. I'll have a link in the description box below. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.